we are we're currently sitting in a train just getting off the interstate here I'm following my GPS I'm heading to a place that Steve-O told me about camp spot I've never been to continue for four miles so uh, I'm interested to go check it out um, I'm gonna use this uh, lunch break to my advantage I've got my solo stove I'm gonna go out and do a nice lunch on the solo stove but also I'm going to be out taking a look at this uh, area for our next hot tent camp spot for next weekend hopefully so we'll see what it's like um, I'm excited downtown Malvern right onto West Fifth Street. and my navigator is telling me to turn right here yeah all right here we go that's cute isn't it In a quarter right. mile, turn right scooping snow what's up dude said in a quarter mile turn right I feel like it's in the middle of this town here Let's see, it might be a, a nice little place. I think we're there. I think that's it. Bonner Pond Camp. Turn right, then turn right. Okay. So, so we're here. And it's closed. All right, so that kind of stinks, but in my defense, the website, says that it's open. Which is funny. <laughs> that's alright. So that's good because then I didn't just waste my time coming all the way out here to uh, have to turn around last minute with the kiddos. So we'll go see another place. Let's see here. Uh, it's not really going the not really going the way I had planned on it going. Um, was hoping to see that spot open. Unless Steve-O was talking about a different place, but continue for two miles. That was the only place in uh, in Malvern with a pond, and it's closed. But. Um, We've got about another two and a half miles to go to this next area to check it out, and and then we'll see. I mean, this is just kind of what you do sometimes when you're looking for new spots. Like I said, it's not really going the way I planned. It's all right, though. All right. Oh. There is the campground sign. All right, let's go take a look at it. there and this place is literally like right in the edge of town here it says there's a campground over here so we're gonna go take a look at it and see this is just in the next town over from me and I didn't even know about this campground it's a uh, Glenwood State Park Your campground is right. Wow okay so here is the campground it. 
They do have running water. I don't think I was supposed to drive through here. Just because there is a barricade up on this end. But all right, well I did anyway, so I'm I'm in trouble. So that's their camp area. Interesting. <laughs> Glenwood was a bust. Hey, look at this little itty bitty no frills. Like, look how little it is. <laughs> anyway, Glenwood was a bust. That was a really small park, even though there was no sign that said it was closed. There was a like a, a barrier at the end of the wall or at the end of the other road. So there was one on, on our side when we got in there, but that barrier was actually on the other side of the road. So I figured it was just to kind of direct traffic because there was a one-way uh, traffic sign in there. But then when we go to get out of there and it was clear that they didn't want anybody driving through there. So that's my fault. Um, yeah. So I do know of a spot we're gonna go take a look at, which is about another four miles from here. And this is just kind of what happens when you, this is kind of what happens when you start to go look for a uh, camp spot. Driving down the middle of Glenwood right now, Glenwood, Iowa. Hello. Hello, West Elementary School. There are no kids, I can take a video of them. Yeah, there are kids. They're all, uh, having recess right now. Don't want to do that. Don't show other people's children ever in a video, okay, guys? So, okay, we are going to be heading out to a spot that I do know um, is open. However, I'm not sure about like how some of the the ground is for hot tent camping. Uh, we've been we've been there with our RV, so but I'm gonna go take a look at it, and at least I'm gonna have some lunch because now I'm starting to get hungry. But this is what it's like when you sometimes look for a, a camping spot or a newer camping spot. Um, if there's areas around you that you know there's camping at, but then when you go online to look at them and there's not really a lot of information, you gotta go look for them. So that's why it's really important that these places put information in their websites. However, a lot of them just show a picture, they show a phone number, and that's pretty much it. Or sometimes they even put like hours of operation, but hence the last one that we were at in Malvern, there was nothing on the, on the site that I was looking at said anything about hours of operation there we go now we're on some gravel roads that's much better okay so here is Pony Creek it is frozen ducks are over there just sitting on the water back there let's go take a look at this camp spot up here Ooh, there's some cars here so that's always a good sign right better a little more wild a little more secluded there oh my goodness they were building something up there it looks like they built a cabin up there that's really cool I'm gonna lock in my four-wheel drive just because I don't want to be sliding all over man they got that sucker done fast all right take a look at this so down here is where I first noticed a wild camp spot. But the ground is very, very peaked right there. So that's that's not gonna work. But I know there's another spot we're gonna go up and look at and we're gonna do our lunch up there and kind of get a view of it. A really cool view of this whole area. This is a very small campsite and I absolutely love it here. 
but I'll show you. These guys, they take really, really good care of this place. Here's this little station here, and I got some heat coming up from the top, so somebody must be here. But so this is where we like to bring our RV sometimes. Really small, secluded area. Uh, nice, isn't it? So there is a camp spot up there through those trees. So we're gonna park and we're gonna head that direction. Well, let's see. It's about as flat as it gets right here. And there was a picnic table up here. It's not anymore. Nope. Not anymore. Beautiful woods. So we might just end up going out to Indian Cave. Um, Nebraska next weekend. I know it's a hundred miles, but uh, looking for a little more of a. Oh, those woods are beautiful. Looking for more of a hideaway, if you know what I mean. This is where we were camping when. Uh, and those coyotes came crashing down through the woods. And I was sitting, I was sitting down here. Well, at any rate, at least we're gonna do some lunch because I'm hungry. There's another cool camp spot, but once again, the ground is really pitched. That wouldn't be very comfortable. It'd be rolling all over the place. I do love exploring. It keeps you in good shape. It keeps your mind busy. Look at these dog prints. See these? These dog prints right here? These are coyote prints. You know for a fact because these guys live down here. This is where, <sighs> it's cold out here. I need to catch my breath. I just came right up the hill because I heard something. But I know these are coyote prints, oh, for one, because of the print, but also because when I was here, I was down in these woods here um doing a video and two big coyotes came just crashing down through the woods saw me i had the video of it i tried to grab my camera quick enough and whip it around but i messed it up <laughs> so people say they see ufos and bigfoot they probably do the same thing i did right it's plausible. Okay, come on, let's go down here. Well, we didn't have any luck finding, spotting any coyotes or really finding a good camp spot around here. Um, found camp spots, but nothing that's really gonna work for us too great for what we wanna do. Kind of stinks, but we can still have lunch though, right? That's for sure. This is my uh, 
center line systems. This is what they call the burrito bag, the CFSC bag. I love this bag here. Um, it's a round bag, but it's cool because the more stuff you put in it, you just kind of like flattens out. I don't know. It's, it's cool, man. I, I really dig it. I put a lot of stuff in it. All right, let me get some firewood real quick. Yep. Oh. Need these gloves. I'm gonna need these gloves. There's a dead branch right there. Grab my grab my saw. This will be plenty. Don't forget to close your saw whenever you're done with it. You don't want to get hurt. Well, I'm going to have to scrape some of this up here because I don't want this dang thing going anywhere. Still wants to. <laughs> it's alright. Come over here in the snow. Get this beauty. Oh, yeah. Nice. You can use this as a TLUD stove where you can light it from the top, but since it is so cold out right now. I just want to get the stove going. Well, my GoPro just went dead, thanks to the cold, but it's all good. Stove did not go out. It just steamed up a bunch when I put down that cold pot. It's burning great. I'm gonna grab some more wood so I can just keep on feeding it. Oh yeah, this is nice. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. Got some bubbly action going on. Not bad at all, considering the temperature outside. This stove is pretty, pretty rad. Look at that. Look at that gasification go, man. Gosh, that's cool, isn't it? I love that. I'm even picking up some of these 
good old frozen sticks underground here. Just dropping them in there. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Since I'm right-handed, I went ahead and moved this handle over here away from this port. When these flames really start to climb, sometimes they'll spit out through here. And if your handle's above here, it will burn you. So I took precaution, just moved it over there already. Stove is gasifying great on the inside. And I've got a lot of unburned wood in the middle. That's what she's supposed to be doing, as you can tell. Oh yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> Let that keep on burning while I get the food over here. I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna get a nice a little chai tea latte going on here. Yep. Okay. Here we go. First things first, our stir fry, huh? Just says to fill it up to that line, so that's what we're gonna do. Check this handle over here. Nope, not hot at all. I'm gonna go a little bit above the line. I'm actually gonna stick this right on the inside there so that way it's just kind of getting some of this heat. Then I'm gonna take my lid. This is a double walled, got snow in it, mug from uh, Keith Titanium, 450 milliliter. I like it a lot. We got stove burning away. So I got this uh, double walled mug here specifically for winter trips. So I love titanium, but I find that titanium cools down so fast that you don't really get to enjoy your warm beverages in the winter time. Actually, what I'll do is I'll set this right there above that. That way while this stove is burning out, I'll let that sit there and get ready to go. Voila, love it. I'm waiting to eat. I'm waiting for my noodles to be finished. Good thing about it being so cold out is the solo stove has already cooled down completely. So that's pretty awesome. Bad thing is, is the cold is like killing the batteries to all my cameras. My GoPro, dead. This camera, 19%. So we're back in the truck here, as you can tell. Um, you know, the uh, solo stove is just such a simple, compact unit that really by the time you're done cooking with it, like I was up there, I, I put it away. It was so cold out that it already like instantly cooled off. Um, so I put it away and I was just kind of sitting up there twiddling my cold thumbs like, well, hmm, no sense really sitting up here in the woods. So I, <laughs> I grabbed my uh, my mug in one hand and I grabbed my noodles in the other hand threw the bag on my shoulder and came back down to the truck started it up it's it's beautiful in the truck and uh, my noodles actually should be done by now so let's let's see these are a spicy kind of a spicy noodle I guess they only have a one a one out of three on the spice chart they're a sweet chili, so I love, love sweet chili. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna spill that, so here we go. I added what it said to add for water. Look at them. They look almost like they need more, more liquid, but let's see. Here we go. 
Mm-hmm. Ooh. Boy, that has got a good flavor. Oh, yeah. And whole, like whole onion in it, too. I have not tried this one. I haven't tried this one before. It's, a, it's called Cup of Noodles Stir Fry Sweet Chili. Really, really good. Not really spicy, but... Oh, it even says it's vegetarian. It doesn't really matter to me so much. I'm not a vegetarian, but... For those of you who are... And this is just my chai. Chai tea latte. Better put the pinky up there. I said latte. Mmm still super warm this this double mug ooh, 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 ooh. this double mug with this uh, lid awesome purchase um, I've had it now for three years absolutely love it I only use it in the winter time like I said before so but yeah I'm gonna sit here and uh, eat these noodles up and then we'll be back because I want to tell you guys actually I'll tell you guys this fun story while we're doing it, I'm just gonna reposition everything a little bit here my goodness are so good so um, we were out here camping uh, I had my my RV my camper on the stall number one up here in the end because it has a bigger yard and everything and you guys know me how I like to do outdoor cooking so I just love to fool around with my stoves, even when I have my camper out. Um, so we were in uh, spot number one on the very top of the hill. Our friends were camping there. And uh, then we ended up having some more friends come over and of all the camp spot, we filled it up. It was four RVs, not a lot, but it's social distance camping. So it's only as close as you can get, right? So anyway, um, these are close friends of ours who we've been in contact with since uh, before and during COVID. Uh, we're not concerned about it, not with not with these friends. And um, anyway, we uh, we decided, hey, you know what? We need to go on a beer run. That's what happens sometimes. We're adults, so we decided we're gonna go for a beer run. And the next town over is um, Glenwood, Iowa. So we. We drive into this into town and there's a liquor store in there and in the liquor store there's this woman working and I can't remember her name for the life of me. Real quirky girl. She's super funny and nice, but just real quirky. So we get there and uh you know, we're buying our, our, our booze or whatever we're getting. And she goes, Well, what are you guys doing? I was like, Well, we're we have our campers out at Pony Creek and she goes, Oh. Oh. We're like, What? She goes, Isn't that where you know? No, no, we don't know. She goes, yep, that's where that woman offed herself. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? So then she tells us a story that uh, there was a lady uh, some time ago, not some time ago, a few years back, that uh, her son had, had passed away. I don't know the whole story. Um, I never looked it up. I probably should, and I will, and I'll tell you guys the actual story of what happened, but this is what we were told while we were here. She goes, yeah, so a lot of people don't camp up there because, you know, she drove up there, there was nobody there, and then she killed herself, and they didn't find her for a while, but her car was just parked in one of the stalls. You know, the one right across from the playground. It's where we were camping. So, uh, so for the rest of the uh, the evening, when we got back to camp, of course, uh, we told, you know, our spouses what had happened, and, uh, of course, the kids found out. So the kids were running around this entire campsite with flashlights, spooking themselves of course because that's what kids do and they it was it it's it's a bad situation but the way the kids reacted when when there's stuff like that you know it's it's all paranormal and it's spooky for them but uh yeah so that was like the oddest thing that had ever happened here we were like what do you mean she offed herself all right everybody well i want to thank you so much for coming along and just hanging out with me and this is what happens sometimes when you go to look for a new spot and you can't find one. You end up having lunch and uh, talking to yourself. 
but you know all in all it was still it was good to get out it was fun to play around with the stove and uh yeah really enjoyed myself fortunately i didn't find the, the ideal spot that i was hoping to find for our next hot tent adventure but we'll see um i mean i've always got a couple places that i can go it's just i was really hoping to kind of find a new spot new little gem but that really didn't happen this go around so that's what happens if you've ever gone out looking for a camp spot some of you guys just go out into the woods but i mean we have a lot a lot of areas where you can camp in iowa and in nebraska but you've got to be careful especially right now you know they're they're pheasant hunters out but you also have to be careful because you can end up on private property and uh, you don't want to be doing that without permission so um yeah, I always like to be cautious and take those day trips looking for stuff. Uh, so if you guys got any places that you want me to take a look at here around Iowa, Nebraska, uh, let me know. I I mean, I'm always willing to pack up the stuff and go head out for a night or so with the boys and see what we can find. But right now, our jam is currently hot tent camping. Um, we will do some, you know, just some regular cold weather camping without a stove, but who wants to do that? That kind of sucks. Plus, I mean, if I want to use my hammock or something like that, there's that set up. But plus, hot tent camping is just so much fun. And it's really something that brings you close together. Like for me and the boys, we spend, you know, like the day prepping wood, making food, you know, joking around, sometimes wrestling. <laughs> so um, it's a way to, to really disconnect from everything and reconnect with each other. And that's what I really enjoy about it. So um i could talk to you guys forever thank you so much again for all the likes all the comments and just for being there and watching my kind of quirky videos i appreciate it so we'll see you guys in the next one take care